even know why I'm making this video right now. I am under the weather. Um, I don't know what I've got, if I've got anything. There are a couple, a couple of culprits that I can think of in my life that might be making me feel this way, but you know, January's almost done and I've got school and so I figured, you know, while I'm at home here trying to get better, I may as well film this video. I just wanted to warn you all, if I don't sound quite right, if I don't look quite right, if I don't, I don't know, if I'm just not as peppy as usual, that's, that's the reasoning behind it. Don't worry, I'm sure I'm fine. So, best and worst of beauty for January, I guess. Let's, let's get into it. I've got just a few products that I was disliking this month and by disliking I mean really not liking. That is the definition of dislike, isn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you guys this is gonna be a strange, strange video. I don't know if you all get in that funk mood when you're sick where you're just kind of, you're not loopy but you're brutally honest and feeling drunk at the same time but you're not drunk at all. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I awake? Let's get into it, shall we? So to start off, I've got this acne treatment spot. What is it called? Vanishing cream formula. Funny, because it didn't make anything vanish for me. On the spot, acne treatment, Neutrogena benzoyl peroxide acne medication. Now, I featured... I mean, I'll, I'll put the link below because I, I honestly don't remember, but I think it's called like the Terminator 10 Acne Free 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Treatment, and it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, I ran out and I needed another tube. Well, to my luck, uh, they didn't have it at the Target that I was at, and I wasn't about to drive another 10-20 minutes to another Target just to get that when I saw a similar product. And I saw that instead of the 10% benzoyl peroxide, that this one is only 2.5%. Well, this was just a fail. Uh, it just, it didn't work for me. I mean, it did get rid of pimples, but it took... The Terminator 10, the Acne Free, usually takes about two nights of use and then my pimple's completely gone. Well, this stuff takes about five days to make it be completely gone. Which, you know, 2.5 times five, I mean, that that's over 10%, but does that math, does that make any sense? Makes sense to me. <laughs> ah. So back to other things, I've got this one. Now, I needed a new face wash for the morning because the one that I had been using ran out. Fancy that. So I figured, you know, the acne-free spot treatment works really well for me. I should try one of their scrubs, one of their face washes. And you know, it's a gentle acne scrub and it's got oatmeal in it, which I love oatmeal scented products. It's usually just a very soothing scent. And also jojoba. I don't know what jojoba smells like, but it's got that too. And it says that it unclogs pores, controls oil, and clears breakouts, leaves skin soft and shine free. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, it's fine. Like, this is a fine face wash. It's just not good, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's really runny. I mean, can you see this when I, like, tilt it? It all just gloops to the top, and then it gloops right back down. Did you see that? I don't know. It's so runny, and so the little beads that are in here, they do nothing because it's just all like this big watery mess on your face, and the smell leaves something to be desired. It's got that slight oatmeal scent, but it's also got that medical acne treatment scent to it as well. So it's really, it's just not pleasant. And first thing in the morning, it's just kind of the last thing I need is something smelly. Galileo usually takes care of that. He knows when I'm getting ready to go. And so he gets mad at me in the bathroom and he's like, no, I don't want you to go anywhere. And he takes a huge dump so that my bathroom smells like literal crap. Anywho, the last thing on my pyramid that is considered bad Please put your rocks away. I don't really feel like being stoned for saying this, but 
I've got the Revlon Color Stay Foundation here. This product was so hyped and I ran out of my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, which is my holy grail foundation. I love it. I think it was like one of the first things that my mom introduced me to in the makeup world because I really was against makeup until like 10th ish grade. Much, much to her dismay. I just remember all the time on like picture day and stuff, she would just, come on Cassie, just put on a little bit of concealer. Please do it for mom. I just fought her tooth and nail. And now look at me. <laughs> I'd heard so many great things about this foundation. It is so hyped. It is so just up to the high heavens. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save me some money and I'm gonna use this because it's supposed to be so great. And I got the normal to dry skin. I got it in the color 150 buff. The color match is actually really good for me. I have this on today. I mean, I'm gonna use this until it's out because I mean, I spent the freaking like $10 or however much it costs on it. So I may as well, but it just, what, what people? Why is this so hyped? I just did a blog post on this last night, so I'll link that down below. You can hear me rant and rave about it there. Rant and rave? I didn't rave about this at all. I don't get it! It's really, really watery. Like, you have to shake this up before you use it because it will separate, which I am not used to in a foundation. I don't like that. And it's, you know, it's got the stupid no pump. It's just a stupid bottle opening. Not good. Not good. It only lasts like four to five hours, maybe. And even then, this the coverage of this foundation is so light. I mean, I don't really have any active breakouts that I can think of right now, but I've got acne scars because I scar really easily. And this, this doesn't cover that at all. By the end of the day, I'm looking kind of dry and flaky and for a normal to dry skin, you would think this is gonna be at least somewhat moisturizing, but mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be honest with you all, but I know people love it. Not me, just throwing it out there. Um, this is not for everybody. All right, on to good products because we all need the good in our lives, right? So basically, like usual, I, I've got the pyramid set up, but really I just have been loving all of these love products for the month for, you know, the same equal amount. Was that English? Probably not. So I've got these Vino Active Naturals Ultra Calming Makeup Removing Wipes. I was telling you all, I think, in my last video about how excited I was to get rid of those Pond's wipes and get back to my um, Neutrogena, like, grapefruit wipe ones because they're fantastic. Well, I went to go buy them and I saw these right next to them. They were $2 cheaper and they've got the nice little actual closing lid on it to keep them fresh because I hate the sticker ones because sometimes it just, it doesn't always stay down and then they dry out. These are fantastic. They smell really, really nice. It's kind of like a mix between like a fresh, like right when you cut into a pear and then a little bit of apple and then freshness. They're not as moist as the Neutrogena grapefruit ones, which is is fine. I mean, it's not ideal, but they're still moist. They're really um, like hydrating feeling. They just are really smooth to wipe down your face with, and they're great. I really love these. So if you're in the market for a new face wipe, I highly recommend these, and I might purchase these over the grapefruit ones. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see which one is cheaper next time. <laughs> next on my pyramid, I have got this Alme Intense Eye Color Liquid Shadow Plus Color Primer for green eyes. Now, I don't know why Alme decided with these things that they should target them for specific eye colors. I just think that's a load of bull. Especially this one. I mean, it's a freaking like champagne gold. It, it's gonna look good on anyone's eye color. I was in the market for a new eyelid primer and so I figured I would give this a go. And I really like this. I did a blog post on it, so like always, I will link that down below so you can check it out. A lot of people don't really like it because the color shears out a lot, but I mean, I'm putting eyeshadow on top of this anyways, so to me, that's really no big deal. And it's great for a primer. I mean, if you have really, really, really oily lids, I don't know that this will work for you. I have normal to slight oil lids, but really nothing to complain about. But I do need a primer or else my eyeshadows are gonna crease. By the end of the day, there is like very minimal crease, like 
hardly any creasing. I mean, you're, you've got to really be looking at my eyelids, in which case you're clearly obsessed with me and shouldn't care that my eyeshadow is creased anyways. <sighs> that probably came out wrong. So moving on, I have got this Lancome Absolute, there's no T in there, eye premium, and then some symbols. <laughs> I have no freaking clue. I got this little sample guy uh, from my mom for Christmas. Or was this a Santa gift? I don't remember. She, the, one of the next products, it came with that one. And this was just, you know, a little sample they had included, so she gave it to me. And I am a huge fan of eye creams. I love using them at night before I go to bed because my under eye dark circles can get really dry. This puppy is so good, you guys. Oh, I just, it's, it's one of the best eye creams I think I have ever tried using, hands down. It has absolutely no scent to it and it is just thick and creamy and luxurious and it keeps your eyes moisturized all night and you wake up in the morning and they are still nice and kind of dewy and lovely feeling so if you have the extra cash to spend on some of this slash if you can somehow go and get yourself a little sample like this you're gonna have some magic eyes <sighs> I'm feeling it, guys. <laughs> I'm feeling the sick. I'm feeling the sickness. <laughs> Moving on to where I got that sample from. This is my Lancome High Resolution Night Refill 3X Triple Action Renewal Anti Wrinkle Night Cream. Now, I got this uh, for Christmas from my wonderful, wonderful mother. Thank you, mom. It is so fantastic and it is so luxurious. And you can tell because this stuff is not cheap. <laughs> I will weep when this runs out and I have to buy myself another one. But as you can see, it's, I mean, I've got a ton left and I've been using this for the whole month straight. And you just need the babiest little bit to hydrate your whole face. I use this in the morning. Um, you don't have to use it as a night cream. You can use it as a day cream. And it's, it smells so lovely. It starts, I mean, I, I talked about this in my Christmas, what I got for Christmas video. So, I mean, you can, you can check that one out if you want. It's just a real joy to have this beautiful thing sitting on my bathroom counter for me to use every morning. So, like I said, if you can afford this, get it. Because it is so good. All right, up next, another thing from my Christmas video. It is this NARS blush in Super Orgasm that I got from Tori. Thank you, Tori, again. Like I said before, you're way too kind to me. And I appreciate your kindness because I, I think I've worn this quite literally every single day, of course, up until today because I'm sick and why would I want to waste this? on a sick day. <laughs> I just, I have to run to the grocery store and make this video. Other than that, I'm not doing anything, so I really don't care if I look good. It's, it's so beautiful. I mean, do I really need to go into how luxurious NARS products are? I don't think so. This is a beautiful, like I said in my Christmas video, confusingly cool-toned pink coral color. Confusing only in the sense that I didn't know coral could be cool toned, but this blush proved me wrong And it's just got huge specks of glitter, which is so Tory and it just looks so beautiful on the cheeks I know a lot of people are scared of this blush because of the large glitter trunkies, but truth be told they pretty much all fall off when you put them on your cheeks and there's just like a tiny little residue of like maybe three or 10 little sparkles on your cheek and they're subtle. I mean, you've got to catch the light right to see them and it's just, it's beautiful. Next up, I have got this NYX Glam Shadow Stick in the shade Pink Ruby. I went there to get other NYX things and then I saw this lovely creature and I, I had to, I had to. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. I didn't know what I was going to use it for. I had a I had a slight inkling. I use it on the inner corner of my eye and a little bit on my bottom lash line. Here, I will get my sick self really close to you right now. <sighs> Can you see it at all? I just, I use it on the, yeah, like I said, the inner corner and then a little bit on the lower lash line. I think it's so lovely. It just brightens up your skin and it really 
makes your eyes pop even when you're feeling sick like I am and it glides on really smooth it stays all day it's blendable it's creamy and yeah I can't recommend this enough here we go guys we are at the top of the pyramid aren't you happy I know I am because that means I get to go to sleep after this I have got this Ren clear calm 3 acne treatment mask these are expensive I think they're $45 yeah, I know. I'm crying too. I honestly think if you're serious about clearing up your skin, that kind of money is worth it. The confidence that clear skin brings you, $45 is more than okay with me. I've heard really great things about Ren. I had never tried a Ren product before, but this one in particular just stood out the reviews and whatnot and seemed to be something that I needed when I was suffering from really really bad breakouts and oh, it's so great it smells like crap I mean it's a sulfur treatment and if you haven't smelled sulfur before you lucky dog it's not good but what this does that I've never really experienced with a mask before is that those really like kind of swollen under the skin like really deep under the skin pimples um, that get kind of red and they just hurt this makes those go down almost instantly I mean you put this on and when you take it off your pimples look so much less irritated so much less red and so much less prominent I really recommend this like I said if you are willing to make the investment in your skin I think it is more than worth it and this mask really has done done wonders for me, especially, you know, around that time of the month when those pimples, those kinds of pimples tend to pop up. This is kind of my hormonal mask treatment and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Get some. Alright you guys, that is it. I hope that was helpful. I hope you found some new products to love for yourself because I sure have been loving most of those and hopefully you also figured out hey some of these products might not be the best investment. I think I'm gonna go to bed take a little nappy poo. I hope you're all well doing better than I clearly am and I guess I will be seeing you all very soon. Uh, stay well until then. Bye!